What's up? This is HG News here. So this is kind of disturbing because we just had... I've been waiting because it's not been a good thing to talk about. And this is proof that there was um, a shooter in our area that was near the hospital who had uh, three counts of attempted murder. Uh, he had a meth lab in the upper part of his uh, girlfriend's uh, house. And he lit the house on fire and shot... A lot of bullets, like he had one of those automatic machine guns with about, i say, uh, 40 rounds of ammunition. He only used, like, 70 shots. And uh, luckily, we had, had they had the, luckily, nothing, no one got killed or hurt. But there might have been one cop injured, but it was crazy. They had the SWAT team, the Illinois SWAT, SWAT team, the Pinckneyville, the uh, DuCoin police. And Mus's truck, you know, um, fire trucks, and then other couple of police departments on top of that. So, like, they were not joking. So, yeah, that was 2.30 on Wednesday. As you see, that's his name. I realized, I noticed the guy was actually from a company where my uncle works, you know, and, um... They manufacture cable and all that and do coins, so, um, he got fired, apparently. I guess something with his family or something, he got real aggravated, and, um, yeah. It was crazy, and the ladies were freaking out, because, with me, I do have a bleeding disease, and I locked my doors on those days anyway, and, uh, we were just staying full in that no one else got possibly killed or hurt and they just finally put up a thing for our um, location for where we where I work where the police can just come in and just park and even if they're off, off duty or not they can be there you know if it's been so crazy they had that manhunt I just said about a couple of weeks ago or a week ago and then this last Wednesday or so and I mean it's just nuts so, yeah, I've been cleaning the room. I've been trying to figure out this new OS, and I can't burn ISOs, which is not good because I sometimes burn a couple images, and uh, Carolina just doesn't like it, I guess. It's different on the storage, and... You know, just thumbs up and give me a you subscribe, comment, like, below, I mean, like, below here. Because it would really help and join the channel because I'm going to be posting things like this. There hasn't been any kind of trouble uh, since that one incident. So, he is in jail for, like, five million dollars bail. And, um, the other one was caught in Timoreau on a road being on a woman's, being on a, uh, ladies, um, house window, so I was like, yeah, he found out, and they finally caught him, and, uh, I, he was going through a lot of areas in our location in Perry, in Perry, Perryville, Illinois, as well as Farmer, you know, you know, Farmington, Illinois, and, uh, he was going on ATV through, um, Cornfields, as I said last, that last video about it, and thankfully that Nothing like that occurred, but this is still serious because, um, it's just, it's crazy. I tell the kids are probably scared because they were on lockdown. The hospital was locked down at 3 o'clock in the morning. I didn't even hear about it until the next, next day in the morning. It's like, on that morning, morning, it's like, not the good to hear for us and that we responded and, you know, these, there's scorn fears of this kind of craziness. But the guy literally went nuts. And, um, there's nothing really how, that more to explain it because it's just crazy. I mean, as a citizen of Illinois, well, Illinois I I never had that serious. But, um, yeah, the whole house, whole entire house was completely burnt down. There was a lot of holes. One of my buddies was a sh almost was shot while I was watching uh, TV in the morning around that hour. I don't know why he was up, 
but he was, you know, Cody Rhodes, my black kind of uh, friend, you know, I like a lot. You know, we love each other back in the day in the grave or senior still. And he was affected. I don't know if it was him who was involved with the entire issue. I don't know where, you know, all these possibilities. And they were talking about, oh, these probably, you know, his, his, his father is named that, but then he's the junior version of, him, of his father. So, yeah. I just were thankful that nothing worse came to part. Nothing, nothing else worse happened, basically. And we'll just keep our prayers, because we need people to pray, because this is completely unacceptable at behavior, and I would never uh, allow it, for sure. I mean, I mean, you look at it, so many possibilities that i never seen this location have that serious of a crime in a long time. And I guess they let the guy loose, and he went nuts, I guess, and he was brewing meth in the house up there. It basically exploded because he lit on fires, so all that in there, just boom. So not, not really good to talk about on YouTube, but, you know, this is what the world, what that, what's what it's turning into, and it's not good. We need to kind of keep these in check, and just watch, be watchful of suspicious, you know, activity in your neighborhood, because we're giving, you know, tips and things like that. See, it's, it's this kind of, you know, it's a possibility to get, have people being, you know, gunned down, how they're acting. So it's like, yeah, just be watchful in your neighborhood. And just if you're at night, just carry a flashlight or something just in case, you know, just stay out of the alleys, you know, just go into the sidewalks. Um, that's one of my advice for my, my mom because I, that's what I do every night. I just walk through the hall, the site on the sidewalk. So when I get off, yeah. So, yeah. Don't talk to strangers or, you know, things like that, basically, because it, it's not worth it. <sighs> that guy was literally crazy, that man. Uh, he was still so many vehicles. But then I'm probably sure that there were a few that were probably totaled. A little over a dozen, I think, vehicles stolen. So, yeah, they're both in jail. Don't know how long for both of them. But, you know, it's... My police department doing what it should be doing. Watching out for the neighborhood, basically. So thank you for watching. See ya.